How do we celebrate New Year's Eve here in Spain? And what's up with the grapes? In this video, we're gonna be exploring Spain's biggest New Year's Eve tradition and where it comes from. What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. My channel is all about bringing Spain to you while we can't travel, so subscribe to see more videos like this one that'll help you get better prepared for your next trip and keep you connected after you leave. The New Year's Eve celebration is relatively similar all around the world. The countdown to midnight, waving goodbye to an old year, welcoming in a new, but in Spain there's a special wrinkle and you've gotta eat 12 grapes for good luck. So what is this tradition and where does it come from? If you ever make your way to Spain for New Year's Eve, People will celebrate all around the country in their different towns, but the biggest gathering has to be in Madrid in the Puerta del Sol. Right in front of the old post office, everybody gets together, gathers around with their grapes and their cava, which is a sparkling wine, and they ring in the new year. Those of us that can't make it to the Puerta del Sol are probably at home watching it on TV, as every major Spanish news station has a team there. What we're all waiting for is the countdown to midnight, but unlike that typical 10, 9, 8, countdown that we get in most other places. It's gonna be a little bit different here where we're waiting for the bell chimes. The first four are the cuartos and they're gonna be the ones that are gonna warn everybody to get ready. Now you've got your time to get your grapes, get your cava, get everything in order. The next 12 are what we call campanadas and the campanadas are the chimes that are gonna give everybody the time to eat the grapes. And you have to finish eating all 12 grapes by the end of that 12th chime. You get about two, three seconds to eat each of those grapes. With the idea being that if you finish the 12 grapes in time, you get good luck. Check it out here. I remember my first time celebrating this way and everybody warning me how difficult it was. I was so set to make sure that I finished the 12 grapes in time and you definitely do get enough time to finish within those three seconds, but I guess it really does depend on the grape. And this is when you realize what a serious Spanish tradition this is. Because depending on the skin, depending on if there's a seed inside, it can really slow you down in finishing up within those three seconds. Now you can get the grapes from all over and the supermarkets, they're gonna sell pre-made packs that you can buy for the day or you can just buy your own bunch. And I know a lot of people that will get the grapes, they'll take out the seed, they'll peel the grape to make it easier to swallow so that they can finish them before the 12 chimes are done. After the grapes, it's the traditional ringing in of the new year, the hugs, the kisses, the celebratory cheers with a glass of cava. And the difference here is that it's not the end of the celebration. It's really the beginning. Back home, we'd be kind of winding down, getting everything done. But here, it's now time to go out. Those of us that are already out, just continue the night. And those of us that are at home are gonna head out to those clubs as well. Now that you know the tradition, you're probably asking yourself, where does it come from and why the grapes? There's a lot of different theories out there as to where this all comes from, but one of the things that people seem to be able to agree on is that the end of the 1800s, the Madrid upper class was trying to imitate the French customs of having grapes and champagne to celebrate New Year's and brought it in to have it in their own houses. When word got to the working class about the new tradition in the bourgeoisie homes, mocking them, they took grapes and cava to the Puerto del Sol to mark the countdown to the new year. Another theory goes back to 1909 when there was a huge harvest of grapes, almost an overproduction, and one way to get rid of them was marketing them as uvas de la suerte, grapes of good luck. And you can see how that got tied in when everybody was given 12 grapes to eat at midnight. It stuck as a tradition all the way down to today. Whatever the reason, it's become the biggest New Year's tradition in Spain and in many other Latin American countries, apart from wearing red underwear, but that's a different story. Let me know with a comment below if you've ever had the grapes ahead of New Year's and what that experience was like. If you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for other videos about Spanish traditions and customs and other places to see here in Spain. Thank you for watching. I wish you all a happy New Year's and I'll see you next time.